Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can tell, we're back in my ship world, and I got some really cool things. I finished this ship, which is cool, and I'll show you all the changes before we move on to some new ships I'm working on. First off, the small changes. There are these lifeboats, which I realised aren't the Gantry Davit lifeboat system. There's like this type of lifeboat where there was like a squash lifeboat underneath and like a normal lifeboat on top, so it's probably based off that. And if we head down to Sea Deck, there are some new second class areas. For example, the second class Prusine Calf, which is nice. And if we go past the first and second class swimming pool, we have, um, oh wait, the second class staircase, the second class cinema, which is cool. And past that is the second class a la carte restaurant located at the back of the stern. Then, leaving this, and if we head back to the main staircase, aka the grand staircase, and head down to the third class areas and go this way you have some new third class areas too like for example whoops the cruise oh wait that's a cruise sleeping area oh wait another cruise sleeping area oh wait that's the second class staircase whoops the third class swimming pool right there and if we go forward of that the third class cinema which is cool and if we head back to the main grand staircase whoops and head down to E deck if we pass the third class main dining room and head into the little like hallway you have the second class Parisian calf I meant third class Parisian calf which looks nice after that the third class smoking room with a dome wait oh, that's the second class staircase the um oh the White Star Line ship model room, where we have a lot of White Star Line ships. I meant White Star Line ship models. And if we go all the way over here, we have the second class. I meant the third class a la carte restaurant. Anyways, we also have the boiler rooms and the turbine room. And well, let's head there. Let's head all the way back up to sea deck if we go up all the way there if we oh wait whoops if we go this way and over here whoops and down here and into here we have the heating room for the whole ship which is cool the boiler room one boiler room two boiler room three electrical panels more electrical panels and the turbine room which is cool located at the stern close Close. Mm -hmm. There's some new ships I'm actually working on. Or in. There we go. Here we have a. Wait, second. Whoops. Um, over here we have a little small ship. It's a ship that will serve these two ships. It is the same size as those older ships, but um, let me show you a quick tour around it. And also you might realise it's white with a gold band. I wanted its livery to be unique. 
right now it's unfinished but i'll show you around here we have the bridge here we have the wheelhouse with the watertight door indicator panel after that we have the um first class smoking room after that the first class grand staircase which is more of a spiral staircase like the lusitania mauritania and if the first class dining room if we go down another deck we have the bottom level of that dining room which is cool and just like the one on that ship it has a dome but this time it's a rectangle instead of a oval if we go here and into here we have the the lounge slash second entrance to the ship and at the back we have the well a la carte restaurant oh wait we let's head to the um let's head to wait, a deck wait, over here we have the top part of the a la carte restaurant where there's a dome and you can overview the stern and here's the electrical circuits for the dome for the well the second entrance for the ship over here we have the top bit of the dining room and that's oh wait i forgot if we head down here the second and third class entrance we have the first class swimming pool which is cool anyways there's two other ships that I'm working on. Let's start off with this one. You might realize one large difference. There's a well deck, which is pretty cool, and the funnel shape is more like older white star line ocean liners, unlike these ships which are set in the 1920s and 30s. Anyways, let me show you around this ship. Over here we have the well deck for third class passengers. Over here we have the bow. And if we head to the first class main entrance, we have the first class, we have the reception room, room, and the first class grand staircase, which is more like the Olympic and Titanic's grand staircase, where it has this, and if we go behind this door, we have the elevators for that staircase, and the Marconi room, and forward of that, oh wait, some crew sleeping areas which are cool and the wheelhouse with the watertight door indicator panel and the bridge which is also really cool if we go all the way over here we have a sign that says boat deck the oh wait a little area a little lounging area if you want to sit down and relax Going down from here, we have the first class dining room with a piano. And if we leave this, we have a prison calf on this side, which is cool. And also, there's a pokey outy bit, which is pretty cool. And another prison calf on the other side, which is pretty cool. So there's basically two prison calves. Like the previous ocean liner, there's a dome in the dining room and it's two decks tall. It's very similar to that dining room, as you might realise, except there's a pokey outy bit here where the reception room is. And there's a piano and two paintings, which is pretty cool. After the dining room, if we go over here and down here, over here we have the first class lounge this one's based off the lusitania mauritania which is pretty cool and also i used a new trapdoor to hide the wood to make it look like this wood this is spruce wood which i think looks very nice and it kind of looks like that unlike the dark oak it looks better than dark oak Anyways, over here we have the first, the a la carte restaurant, aka the smoking room, aka the cinema, which is pretty cool. Oh wait, I almost forgot. Behind this, and in here, we have the kitchen, which is, and pantry, which is really cool. Forward of that, 
we have the aft grand staircase which is really good after that oh wait this is the a la carte restaurant oh, accidentally mixed these two dining rooms apart hmm. anyways here's the top part of the a la carte restaurant which overs the views the stern and if we head up on boat deck we also have some really cool rooms and some new ones wait that's the officers quarters over here we have these curtained rooms which is the dome for the dining room lighted up they have curtains so first class parts passengers can't be peeking in here's another lounging area for first class a library which I think looks really nice for first class and over here we have a veranda or winter garden and I think I actually I really love this room I think I really it looks good with like this machine being like a coffee machine well yeah coffee machine and a nice little tree in the middle which I think looks really nice and after whoops and after that we have the dancing room where you can dance and stuff which is pretty cool anyways heading down to C deck which is over here yeah. you might realize one thing the portals are up so I had to use this bit of stair to like raise them up oh, yeah, C -deck. Um, wait. if we go forward we have the first class swimming pool it's, it's pretty similar to the previous Ocean Island except it, it uses Green Prism Marine, and I think that's it for this ship for now. Pretty sure it is. But, anyways, we have a, another ship which is larger than any other ocean liner that I built before. It's actually the largest ship that I'm working on. And wait for it. Here it is the largest ship that I'm working on. You might realize of how large it is compared to this. It's First off, its superstructure is now four decks tall, with this being the bottom of it, yeah, and that being the top, meaning one, two, three, four, which is cool. It also has a well deck like that ship. It all even has three funnels like this ship, but it's significantly larger with beautiful interiors. Let's start off with the first class entrance, aka the reception room. If we enter here, you might. This is actually very similar to the Olympic class reception rooms. Even the grand staircase is like, and also you might realize a new color. We with it's basically a white type of wood. I think it's called teak or something. <clears throat> and over here we have a mail room. If you want to give your mail to this guy and like put it here, which is pretty cool. And also in the reception room, we have these little tables for first class passengers when they first get on, and windows that lead into the dining room. The people that you talk to when you first go onto the ship, and a sign that says B deck, well, two birch signs to like contrast in with the teak wood, which I think looks nice. Some seating areas, the elevators, which look good, and I'll show you the dining room later, but. Um, if we head up to A deck, we have the A deck level of the Grand Staircase, and I have to say, I love this. This looks really good, and I think I've made it really look very nice. First off, the main area has like this really nice circular area with like the honor and glory clock being made out of stone, and I think I like it with a golden statue and some tables. And I have to say that I really love of what I did with this for example the like I loved like I decided to use like like slabs as steps instead of always using this and I think it really works well and I love it it looks really good and also we have crew only doors like right over here and I really love this wheelhouse too because it uses the new wood, the teak wood, and has a watertight door indicator panel, and this, and two cupboards for crew, and a and the wheelhouse 
has these two things for the boiler rooms. The wheelhouse is also rounded, which looks really nice. Like the Lusitania and Mauritania's wheelhouses, which also looked good. I really loved both Lusitania and Mauritania's, so I based off that basically. That's what that wheelhouse and like it's more based off Mauritania's because that used teak wood in its bridge and wheelhouse and kind of the Olympic class. But also there's signs that say boat deck, there's a piano here, there is a shop with crew only doors. This one is a storage for, well, this shop, which is a, like, shop for, like, stuff. And over here we have the barber's shop with, on this side, scissors for, well, your hair and stuff. This is a crew-only passage. There's also an, one on the starboard, actually the port side, we have a crew sleeping area for crew-only, of course. That's why there's a, a sign above that saying only crew only only crew only that um i meant saying crew only but anyways um we also have a very um let, let me head back to the reception room and past these win cool windows we have the first class dining room which not only uses a n the new wood teak well which to make it look like teak, I used quartz pillars and smooth quartz, and I think it looks good. The first class dining room looks really good, and I really love it, because I think I love, like, the secluded dining spaces, too. It's something new, and I love it, and with these, like, arches, like, so you can still look out there, like, if you want to, like, have, like, cool little secluded dining areas, you can eat in those areas. We even have like these arches over here, which for, for more secluded dining, which is also really cool. A display stand here, and if we head to the upper level of it, another display stand here. And just like the previous ship, there are like two Parisian caps on each side. But because this uses the teak styled, well, quartz, I was able to like put the like Parisian on there. Or well, what, what did I use for the Parisian real quick? Let me, I think it was... Aha, that I use that. But um there's also flowers which look nice and um there's a piano over here which looks nice with two things on either side and also this really large dome and I think that looks good. A copper piano right down here and this dining room's more like based off both of the Olympic class and Lusitania and Mauritania's dining room. For example, we have like the secluded dining spaces, the windows, but it's also based off Lusitania and Mauritania for being two decks tall. All, but it's like more Lusitania because that dining room was also made out of teak. But it also has these really cool display cases, which I think also look good, and this nice piano. And I think I, and they're very good. Wait, let me just check one thing. Did I? Um, and after this, after the, well, dining room, we have the promenade deck. And over here we have these little staircases that lead all the way down from um, A deck to C deck of the promenade, which is really cool. And, wait, if we head down to C deck of the promenade, we will have the, in front of us, I meant... If we go right behind us real quick and enter here, we have the second entrance for first class. That's right here. And two shops for like buying stuff and stuff. And little seating areas and this pretty nice rounded area. And also a quick thing, um, the elevators go all the way up to boat deck if you're wondering. Let's have a quick look at that. And also you can like fully like walk around here like in a circle if you wanted to but and also um there's like these quick like eating areas if you don't like eat in the main dining room and if you wanted to eat in the grand staircase so that's cool i guess and if we head back all the way down to uh which deck oh forgot the put sign here why is that in there if we head forward we have a pantry and kitchen which looks nice and these like little sitting spots for the like people that work in here to have like a quick break or something 
and in front of us is the first class lounge. Also, there is a staircase on the port side, which is the same as this, if you're wondering. There's also these really cool barrels. And if we head this way, we have the first class lounge. This being two decks tall, well, and we have a painting of a of Armus Olympic 1911. And I made this myself. It has the sun, dawn, on and night. And this very large dome, it's also the cinema for the ship. We have these really cool arches, the yellow and blue carpet. And I have to say, I really like this room, room and love it. Like when I was building this, I thought this would look way different, but I love, but it ended up really beautiful, and I love it. It looks really good, and also I really love these arches. They're really cool. And wait, let me just check one thing. Okay, close that door. But anyways, if we head forward, we have the first class smoking room. Which, just like the dining room, is two decks tall, but it has these really cool yellow and blue windows. It also has a bar if you want to, like, you know, have some drinks in the smoking room, if you wanted to. This area is mainly just for smoking, because I think back then smoking was good, when it's now not really good. It's very bad for your lungs. It's very bad, but I think I really love this smoking room. I think it looks good. We have these vents to filter out all the smoke. These really cool windows, which are lit up by redstone lamps. This two-sided window, which on the other side... Well, there's two on the other side. We also... Wait. We also have these, like, little secluded smoking areas. The, this. And if we go right here, we have an art gallery, a.k.a. the art cafe. There's also another one on the port side, which is exactly the same. And if we head forward and over here, we have the aft grand staircase. And I think that it's basically the same as the forward one, if you're wondering. And over here is the unfinished a la carte restaurant, which just like the main dining room, has these secluded dining spaces, is two decks tall, or, but another quick thing, if we head to the upper area of it, and, oh wait, I almost forgot, there's actually cabins here, just like the real Titanic's aft grand staircase, which had two cabins, we have the upper level of the a la carte restaurant, which has this yellow and blue dome, which you can see in the a la carte restaurant itself, and if we head all the way up to boat deck, we have some really cool rooms to explore. Oh, oh wait, we've already been inside of the grand staircase. But anyways, if we add forward, wait, let me just wait. That's it, the office. Sorry. If we add forward of here, we have the winter garden of the ship, which is very similar to the previous one, except it has these really nice plants, and I think they look good. And it's made out of teak, and I think it looks grey. I have to say, this is very grey, and I love it. You also have another painting of the Armus Olympic again. And just like, and also this is a cafe, and it has a bar, which is really cool. Um, and I think that's it. Let me just check. And also, um... I have to say that I really like the a la carte restaurant so far. It's not done yet, but I think I think it looks good right now. I think it really looks nice. Also, if you're wondering, if we head down to the sea deck area, it's connected up with the back of the ship, which which is like an observation area of the stern, if you want to like see the waves of the stern. And also, the promenade deck does on B, C, A, B deck stops here and the one on C deck stops there, which is pretty cool. As you can tell, this ship is very large and is not finished. But anyways, I think that's all. And anyways, wait. Bye guys and have a nice day. Bye.